Some important news here, COD Leaker claims to reveal more details on MW2 Multiplayer Remaster. This isn't just any Leaker, this is Okami 13, okay? If you guys don't know Okami 13, this is the same guy that leaked a bunch of gunfight stuff back in the summer before Modern Warfare came out, but most recently was pretty correct on Warzone. He predicted, or I guess accurately leaked, a bunch of different stuff regarding the Warzone embargo, when the game mode would actually release, what it would include, a lot of important stuff about Warzone, he got correct. And, you know, that is obviously a big deal because it gives him a lot of credibility. And what he said in the same Warzone tweet, he said that Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would be a thing and they're also doing some sort of multiplayer. We're getting more information as to what that really means. We talk about this every couple of months. I feel like for so many years now, I've been talking about MW2 Remastered. And I didn't really want to make this video, but the only reason why I'm making it here, because I finally feel like we're getting to a point where we're really starting to understand what is being remastered, what is not being remastered, when is this game coming out, and all that good stuff, because this guy here is finally giving us some pretty good information that we haven't seen before. So let's get through it here. Definitely really important if you guys want to play MW2 Remastered and also MW2 Remastered multiplayer. So like I said, he previously revealed Warzone, Gunfight, all this different stuff. Okay. Tommy 13 took to Twitter to reveal that while a remaster is in the works, it won't be a direct remaster of the multiplayer. So let's talk about this here. He says it's not a direct remaster of the multiplayer. What does that mean? Is it still some sort of remaster of the multiplayer? Just not entirely? What, you know, what does that mean there? This will be incredibly disappointing to players who have been waiting for more news. The Okami did soften the blow slightly. He added, instead, they're taking the maps and adding them to Modern Warfare 2019 so as to not split the community again. Still a lot of stuff to talk about here. I want to talk about release dates. I want to talk about reveal trailer dates. I want to take a second to get your guys' opinions here because this seems like it might be a bit of a controversial thing they're doing here. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer pretty much is confirmed now to not be a thing but in a sense it sort of is because the maps are being all brought into modern warfare now to some people that may be a good thing still because you know they still get to play on all of these good mw2 maps all the fun memories you had just within the um, realm of modern warfare the same multiplayer of modern warfare that we have right now and just to add rust in modern warfare is a really solid map one of the best maps in modern warfare and it's from mw2 maybe that's just because rust is so good but you know it's definitely a good thing there for a lot of people i feel like they want just the mw2 remastered multiplayer in its full version on mw2 the game itself not on the modern warfare engine but just on mw2 the same hit detection the same way it was people want to play in that realm they don't want to play in the modern warfare realm because to a lot of people modern warfare isn't the best multiplayer it's fun but if you want to play mw2 remastered you want to play on the actual feel of mw2 not on the feel of modern warfare that's just the way it is so as i'm reading through these leaks here i need you guys to comment below what do you think do you want these multiplayer maps within modern warfare or do you just want a full mw2 remastered version with the multiplayer maps on the mw2 engine or at least an enhanced engine of it and not on the modern warfare engine so let me know down below but here he says instead they're just taking the maps and adding them to mw 2019 so it's not split the community again just heard this last week i'm letting you guys know so originally he had the information that they're remastering multiplayer but then activision whoever was in charge of the project decided not to completely remaster it but sort of just bring it into modern warfare and keep the campaign remastered the premise is certainly an interesting one especially if they plan on bringing all mw2 maps to the current title but it would be odd to see some of the classic maps in a completely different Different game. The biggest thing that players will take away from this though is that the latest development suggests MW2's multiplayer won't be getting a full remaster. A few days prior to Okami's tweet, a South Korean rating agency leaked a classification for Modern Warfare 2, but it was only for the campaign with no mention of multiplayer or special ops included. And now this other leak here is also supporting that claim. So all of the campaign remastered only leaks that we were saying, no, there's no way there has to be multiplayer. Those were all correct. There isn't any multiplayer and any of those plans to have MW2 remaster multiplayer were probably always meant for just the current game, which now is Modern Warfare. And it looks like here, MW2 Remastered will be releasing before COD 2020 
because these multiplayer maps at least are being released in this current game anyway. Now, maybe we could see these remastered MW2 maps added within Season 3, Season 4, Season 5 of Modern Warfare, or we might see it all at once. I'm not so sure how exactly they're doing it. Are they bundling it with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or are they just bringing the MW2 Remastered maps as just Modern Warfare DLC? I mean, we've already been seeing a bunch of remaster maps in the DLC regardless, so it looks like just later on in Modern Warfare Seasons, Seasons 5 or 6 potentially, which could be later this year, we'll just see a ton of MW2 maps all drop at once. But the thing is here, I want to talk about dates because Okami 13 also mentioned something about March 30th and this was right after he tweeted talking about MW2 Remastered so this is from an article here because actually his account was taken down either he deleted it or Activision copyright striked him for leaking information that just makes him even more credible I don't know why Activision does this stuff but obviously they don't want the information out there but people look at it it's the internet you can't really delete it forever people have the information so this is just from an article luckily fans don't have to wait much longer to find out if there's any truth to Okami's claims in a separate tweet the leaker has claimed that official Modern Warfare 2 remaster information is likely coming on March 30th so that's a pretty big deal because that is this Monday in a few days now obviously is it 100% confirmed to be this Monday obviously not it's just not the case but it's very interesting that we're getting this information very soon because now that we know Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer is a part of Modern Warfare and now that we know it could be releasing pretty much anytime soon it's going to make perfect sense for them to release MW2 Remastered campaign probably at some point during the summer and then throughout the next Next couple of months as well we'll get a bunch of those mw2 multiplayer maps added to modern warfare and then by the time we're at COD 2020 we would have already had all of that mw2 stuff so everyone would either you know stick to that maybe be satisfied with that and we'll also move on to COD 2020 so it wouldn't you know interfere with call of duty 2020 it wouldn't interfere with anything else that's going on in the fall for call of duty and the summer could be a pretty big deal for a lot of new content for also modern warfare and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered campaign. You have to think as well, most of the time, the current Call of Duty dies out by the summer. By the summer, we already have the new Call of Duty revealed. We're getting hyped up for the next game, and we're all focused on that. I mean, no one's really focused on the current game in the summer of a current Call of Duty cycle. With Modern Warfare, you're going to have a different situation. You already have Warzone, which is technically a separate game to Modern Warfare, although it's still pretty much associated a large with Modern Warfare, but you're also going to have a bunch of this MW2 stuff. So MW2 Remastered campaign only being released. I'm pretty sure the leak price was 30 bucks and that was leaked last year. That may not be the price now for it, but let's just say it's 30, 25, 30 bucks for the campaign. A lot of people are going to be going to that. And also, if you're not buying the campaign, you're going to be getting the MW2 Remastered multiplayer maps within Modern Warfare that summer. And obviously, people are going to play that. It's going, they're going to advertise it like MW3 Remastered. They're probably going to do a huge drop. If they really were smart, they would say MW2 Remastered multiplayer maps, all of them coming to Modern Warfare. Huge update. It's probably going to be such a big deal and they'll get a lot of traction and that will bring a lot of new players to Modern Warfare so late in the game, which is such a hard thing to do. And I don't know if they're setting up Modern Warfare to be a multi-year game because obviously you guys know about the leaks. The leaks as of last year have been saying that Call of Duty 2020, the development is not going so well and they're already expecting, I mean, in this this year's Activision investor call, they said they were expecting Call of Duty 2020 to sell less than Modern Warfare in 2019. So if they're if it's on track to sell less, Activision is definitely putting stock in Modern Warfare to potentially be a multi-year game. And we've talked about that before. I mean, Warzone could also make it a multi-year game uh, in a sense because Warzone is accessible through Modern Warfare. But adding MW2 content, a ton of MW2 content to Modern Warfare will at least for the most part extend Modern Warfare past its one year life cycle and if Call of Duty 2020 really is such a terrible game and the MW2 maps added to Modern Warfare 
are actually pretty good. And then, you know, maybe it could be a deal breaker for a lot of people where they're not even going to go to COD 2020 and they'll just continue to play Modern Warfare with the MW2 maps. I mean, for there's so many people that do hate on Modern Warfare and they do say, oh, Modern Warfare is just such a terrible game. I, I give constructive criticism. I don't hate on it, but there's definitely a lot of downsides to, you know, Modern Warfare multiplayer. So MW2 maps within Modern Warfare multiplayer isn't a deal breaker for me. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to be playing the next Call of Duty MW2 maps within Modern Warfare. They're fun. They're probably going to be cool, but I'd rather just have them within Modern Warfare 2 itself and play on that old engine. I think most people do agree with me, and I asked you guys to comment below, and I'm pretty sure most of the comments are going to be that they don't want it within Modern Warfare. They want it within just Modern Warfare 2, but that's just not the case. It looks like here we're getting them in Modern Warfare, so we'll have to see if it makes that big of an impact or not. I mean, I think it'll be a decent impact, but we'll just have to see. So thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think down below. Leave a comment MW2 in the comment section if you watched the whole video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.